Okay, she be gone, she be gone every single night How's it going, everybody? This is Tava Drabo. Hope you're having another great day, and welcome back to another video. Alright, folks, it's time for another edition of Haul and Games. In this series, I'll talk about all the pickups that I get throughout my video game collection throughout every month. And for this video, I'm going to be talking about all the pickups that I got for the month of October of 2022. Now, as I said before, last month I had to start cutting back on my finances because there was a lot of things that were going on here that I really needed to worry about. So, unfortunately, starting with this month, you're not going to see too many big hauls for me in regards to my video game collection. And this one here is exactly what I'm talking about. I only have like eight or nine games in my collection for this month. And so unfortunately, this is going to be what it's going to look like for all my future Holland Games videos for at least the next few months or so. But once everything gets sorted out, hopefully I can add more games back into my collection in the near future. But for right now, this is what I got for this month. And let's just go ahead and get right into it. So we're going to start out with all of our PlayStation 1 games. And I only got a couple of this month. But the first one that I got here is called One, which was released all the way back in 1997. In this game, you wake up as a character who has absolutely no recollection of his prior thoughts or no memory of exactly what's going on. So in this game, you're fighting off a whole bunch of enemies while also trying to discover clues to try to reveal exactly who your identity is and exactly who exactly you are. I find it to be one of those more weird action games that you would have here for a PlayStation 1 game at a time. I mean, it's almost similar to a pot that I got last year, but at the same time, you know, there's a really a lot going on because there's a whole lot of futuristic stuff that goes on in this and also you know trying to uncover yourself is almost similar to Call of Duty Black Ops 3 where you're trying to uncover your own identity when you're, you're actually in a coma and you're trying to survive and all that stuff but either way though this was an interesting one I thought I picked this up and hopefully it's pretty good. The next one though I don't even know why I got this game. Bubsy 3D which was one of the original PS1 releases all the way back in 1995 and folks I've heard so many bad things about this game I didn't even believe them at first, but folks, I understand what they're talking about now. This game is absolutely crappy. In fact, I can understand the reviews why this is probably one of the worst PlayStation 1 games of all time, you know. The camera angles are just bad, you know. The characters, they act all grumpy, all that stuff, and the entire game in itself just makes absolutely no sense. I mean, I gave this a shot, you know, just to see exactly what was going on, what I saw, and, you know, I'm glad I have it in my collection, you know, hopefully just get to experience it a little bit. Unfortunately, it wasn't a very good pick, so if I were you, everybody, if you're a good video game collector and you really want to get good video games, do yourself a favor, stay away from this game, you'll fake me later. Only two PS1 games, however, we still got a whole lot of other games here that I got, so we're going to go ahead and move on to all of our PlayStation 2 games, and literally a couple of very interesting ones, one racing game, and also one that was pretty historic for its time back in the early 2000s. The very first one I got is called ATV Quad Power Racing 2. This is the sequel to the original ATV Quad Power Racing that was released back for the PlayStation 1. However, there's a little bit more that goes on here. You actually get to race these much cooler tracks than there were in the last one. There was a lot more better graphics here in this one, but also you get these more like unique characters that you get and play against. You know, a lot of weird personalities and all that stuff. And also you get to do a whole lot of stunts and also you get to have a bunch of mechanics in which you get to fight your own competitors as well. So there's a lot more going on in this one compared to the original one. And I will say this is probably a more improved ATV quad power racing compared to the one that was released for the PlayStation 1 back in 2000. But at the same time though, it is still from the same franchise. But I am happy to have this one. I am looking forward to playing this more. The other one, and this is a big one, this is Ratchet and Clank released all the way back in 2001. And this is another one of those early hits for the PlayStation 2. In fact, another one of those greatest video games of all all time. There's a lot to be excited about this game, you know. I wasn't really interested in getting this first, but I decided to get this because, like I said before, you know, there was a lot of real good things about this game, you know. The characters, you know, Ratchet and Clank, you know, the friendship that goes along with each other, and all the early battles that you go along, you know. How the comedy plays out in this game, and just all the weapons you get to use. It's always like that third-person shooter game that you really want to get if you were a kid back in the early 2000s. So, I felt like that I need to get this one. I really enjoy it so far. I'm very happy that I got this game, and I'm looking forward to playing this more in the future. That's all for the PlayStation 2 stuff. We're going to go ahead and move on to the PlayStation 3 games. Now, as we got three games for the PS3, while everyone else from the consoles, I ended up getting two. So this is the most that I got for eight of the consoles here for this month. However, there were a couple of really good ones that I 
managed to get in here. And we're gonna start out with the very first one, which is F1 Championship Edition. This is another Formula One game that I got into my collection. However, this was the very first one that was released for the PlayStation 3. And this was released all the way back in 2006, when it was the 2006 season that was going on in the world of Formula One. And you have drivers like Fernando Alonso, Michael Schumacher, Nico Rosberg, Jensen Button in this game. A lot of those names that were really big in the sport back in the mid 2000s. Uh, yeah, if it's like those other F1 games that I got, you know, like Formula One, F1 2000, or F1 2010, all that stuff, then I don't really expect too much. But hey, you know, early PS3 Formula One games, they can be pretty exciting. So I'm looking forward to getting to play this one. And hopefully this one is a pretty good pick. Next couple games I got, the first one is called Army of Two. In this game, you get to play as this weird duel who's fighting for your government against a tyrannous group of enemies that are trying to take over your world and your country and all of that stuff. I found this to be a rather hilarious and also a pretty interesting game as well. So I felt like that I needed to go pick this up. So happy I have this one. And then the next one that I have is called Injustice Gods Among Us. Oh yes, all of your favorite DC characters, Batman, Superman, Joker, and all that stuff. You know, all the allies that you get in DC world. Well, guess what? In this game, they turn on each other. And no, I do not mean it in a comical way. I do mean that. There is a lot going on in this game. You never think that you would turn against your own allies in a video game and then fight against them in a series of really epic battles and all that stuff. But that's exactly what you get here. And this was one of those games where it's really just on the edge of the sea. You have no idea exactly what's going to happen. So yeah, real interesting find in the superhero world and one that I think that you'll find as a rarity nowadays. But hey, I'm glad I have this one. I'm really looking forward to getting to play it and hopefully I don't kill any of my allies in this game. That would be uh, pretty bad. Finally, we are going to move on to our PlayStation 4 games. Now, like I said before, only two for this one, however, there are a couple of really interesting ones that I managed to find here. And the very first one is called Monster Energy Supercross 2. This was released back in 2019, which was based off of the 2019 Monster Energy AMA Supercross season. And for those that don't know me, obviously, as you all know, I'm a huge auto racing fan. And one of my favorite motorsports to watch outside of NASCAR, Formula One, and IndyCar is Supercross. Ever since 2015, 2016, I have seen every single Supercross race there is to watch on television. And there is a lot of great action that goes on there. But up until 2018, there was rarely ever a Monster Energy Supercross game based off of the actual Monster Energy Supercross championship. But they have that here. This was the sequel, and then they have at least three more that were released after that. And so I'm hoping to see if I can get all of those in the near future. But this was the only one that I can find at my Neo Buy Video Game Store. I'm really happy to have this one. I'm looking forward to playing this game and hope we get in guys like Eli Tomac and Cooper Webb to championships and all that stuff. Finally, the last game that I got for this month is called Control. Now, this was actually released back in 2021 for both the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5. I got a PS4 version, but again, I am hoping to get the PlayStation 5 at some point, so maybe I can get this version for the PS5. In this game, you play as a character that takes control of the director of a government agency, and you're fending off against this weird third world phenomena that's threatening your world, you know, a really mysterious and tidy. And so you're uncovering clues and you're trying to face them off so that way you can save your world and all that stuff. It's almost like some of those other paranormal games that you would play as well. However, there's a lot going on, especially for a time in which it was really a whole lot of games for stuff like this that were coming out. But it's a really interesting one. The environments in this game is really cool, you know. There's a lot of cool weapons that you get to use and also a whole lot of skills that you can use to try to fend off your enemies as well, you know. This makes this probably one of the better games that I've gotten for the PS4 lately and hopefully for the PS5 as well once I get it. Either way, I'm happy that I have this game. It's a pretty unique one and also pretty good for its time as well. So I'm looking forward to getting to play this one a little bit more in the future and hopefully I can fend off all the entirety in this one as well. All right, so a very small collection for this month, unfortunately. Nine games is obviously the smallest I've ever gotten for a video game haul in a month. However, this month is my birth month. So maybe I can try to find some more games that I can add to my collection for free. But again, I'm just limiting it as well because right now I need to limit my finances considering you know everything that's happening around here but again these are still some pretty decent pickups that I managed to get especially Ratchet and Clank I'm very happy that I got that one and hopefully I can add some more really big games in my collection for the month of November as well as for the end of the year in December anyways that's gonna do it for another video I hope you all enjoyed it as always if you like to see more of my content be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when my latest video is released comment below for future suggestions for all my videos whether it's vlogs projects or challenges or video game content you name it leave it in the comments for I'll do my best to make them. As always, follow me on my social media. All the links are in the description below. That's going to do it for another 
midweek upload. Hope you're having another great day. And as always, I hope to see all of you again in another video very soon. So long, everybody.